Hello and welcome back to ericamulleronline.com. Since we've just talked about using the best and fastest method for installing a Google font on your WordPress theme, we want to talk now about what to do if you have a Genesis child theme. Most people are using the import method. This is very easy to do, but it takes longer to load on your site. We all want a faster site. So, Genesis child themes generally do not have a header.php file because they use the Genesis Frameworks header.php file. So what we're going to do is use a function that has been special built for the functions.php file of your Genesis child theme. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this bit of code and we are going to go copy that and paste it into our functions file. All right, we're under appearance, editor, of course, found our functions. See, a child theme has very, very few um, files here. So we want to find a good spot in here to put it. They are already pulling in some Google fonts, so I'm just going to go down below that, and I'm going to put in this little bit of code here, and I'm going to update. Okay, so now it's in there. It's not going to change anything on the site until we tell the site that we want to use one of these fonts somewhere. Okay, here are the fonts we've imported. Laura and Oswald. Okay, so I'm going to take this Laura font. I'm going to go over to my style sheet. And I'm going to tell something to use it. Okay, I'm going to find my H1 and H2 tags. And the reason for this is this will be all the little titles on the page, um, such as here, here on the side, here. Those are H1, H2, and H3 tags. Okay, and here we can see that we have H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, like so. Right now they are using Roboto Slab. I want to change that to the Laura. Now as you can see, because this is an imported font, it has the little quotation marks here, single quotes, inside of the comma that separates it. You can add additional things like you could add Arial. Oh, well, if I spelled it right, like this. Okay, but this is all we need for now. So we're gonna click update. Alrighty, we're gonna come over here and refresh. And these fonts have changed. It's that easy. One bit of code in your functions PHP file, one bit of code in your style.css and you have a brand new font on your website. Isn't that cool?